Hello everyone, I'm Taylor, one of the nurses at Dr. Jacob's office and ooh la la. Today we're gonna talk about acne and the best skincare to use if you have acne. Um, so acne can be caused by a lot of different things, hormones, stress, um, what we're eating, what we're drinking, our lifestyle. Um, so we'll just walk through basic skincare to help control, maintain, and um, hopefully get rid of any breakouts or acne that you may be struggling with. So lucky for you, I have all the products um, I own all the products because I do have acne, not so lucky for me. Um, but let's just walk through the basic skincare routine. Um, typically, whenever you come in for a consultation with us at Ulala, we will walk through your lifestyle, what you're currently using, what you're doing, and then give you um, a skincare routine to start with. We'll go through treatment options that can help to um, get rid of the breakouts and maintain um, and things like that. So first and foremost, let's start with cleansers. So there's three that we like to use for acne. Yes, I have all three. So um, what I normally recommend is to use the facial cleanser. This is just a basic gel cleanser from Skinmedica. Um, this is great for removing makeup or just cleansing, you know, cleansing off the oils and the dirt that can get on your skin throughout the day. Um, so I like to use the facial cleanser at nighttime. Um, then next is our Aha Baja cleanser. So Aha Baja cleanser is an exfoliating cleanser. It has alpha and beta hydroxy acids in it, along with little exfoliating beads. So it's going to exfoliate your skin chemically with the alpha and beta hydroxy acids and mechanically with the little beads. Um, so Aha Baja has the, the exfoliator um, acids are salicylic, glycolic, a bunch of different acids in there to help exfoliate chemically. And then again, those beads for mechanical exfoliation. Um, so this is just going to get all those dead skin cells off that can build up on our skin, clog our pores, cause more breakouts and more issues, more problems. Um, so I like to use the Aha Baja cleanser in the morning um, just to kind of exfoliate, um, get a good exfoliation, um, nice smooth skin before I go and apply my other products products and then my makeup. Um, and then there's a third, this one is called the Purifying Foam Wash. This is from the Acne line from Skin Medica. So this one is salicylic acid. So this is great for acne prone skin. I use this one a couple times a week um, or if I'm just, you know, having a crazy breakout, I will pop this one in my routine, just kind of swapping in and out wherever I feel necessary. But most days I'll use facial cleanser at nighttime to take off all the dirt, oil, and makeup from the day, and then the Aha Baja in the morning to get a good exfoliation for all my other products. So that is the facial cleansers. Um, and it's not necessary to have all three of these facial cleansers. Whenever you come in, we kind of just talk about what you're already using. If you have a good gel cleanser that you're already using, get through that before we go on um, and add in something else um, like our gel cleanser. But I always, always, always recommend the Aha Baha cleanser um, to start no matter what you have because this is just so amazing for acne prone skin. And it's great for anti-aging too and skin brightening. So if you have acne and hyperpigmentation or acne and some fine lines, this is just this is just a great cleanser to have. Um, so then next would be treatment products. So one, uh, actually these are both probably one of my favorites, um, but this here is the TNS Recovery Complex. So this product is going to stimulate collagen. It's, it's growth factor. So it's stimulating collagen. It's a great anti-aging product, but the reason it's so good for acne prone skin is because it helps those breakouts heal faster and prevents them from leaving any scars behind or dark, dark marks after you have a blemish. Um, so that's why this one is so important because it's just going to help to heal the skin. Um, plus you get that anti aging perk with it as well. Um, and then the second treatment product would be our retinol. So we have three strengths of retinol. We have 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 1.0. Typically, I always start everyone at the 0 0.5, which is right in the middle. Unless you're super sensitive, then we can back it off and start at the 0 0.25. Um, but what retinol is going to do is turn over dead skin cells. So sometimes when we're acne prone, we're super oily and the dead skin cells just build up on our skin. They clog our pores and then that causes more breakouts. So this is just going to help exfoliate basically and turn over those dead skin cells. It helps to dry out any breakouts. Um, I just love this product. I will have a breakout. I'll put it on at night and the next morning it's like half the size. Um, it can be a little bit drying. Um, you just have to get used, get your skin used to it and just work up slowly with using this product just a couple times a week, then every week add a day or it, it goes on at night. So add a night that you put this on your face 
or if you're super sensitive, you can spot treat with this. So if you do have a breakout, you can just put this directly on that breakout as often as you feel like you need to or every night if you need to. So those are the two best treatment products for acne. There's one more. This is the acne treatment lotion, and this one is benzoyl peroxide. So this one is going to really help to dry out any breakouts that you have. You can do this every night as a, um, a full face treatment. Um, we'll kind of just customize these based on, you know, based on your needs. Um, me personally, I do the recovery complex morning and night, regardless of if I have a breakout, I put this on my full face. Um, the retinol I use probably five times a week at nighttime only on my full face. I will add it in as a spot treatment if I do have a breakout that I want you know, to dry up really fast. Same with the acne treatment lotion. Sometimes I use both of these on the same pimple. Sometimes I use both of them on my full face. Kind of just depends. Um, you kind of just have to figure out what's gonna work for you and what works the best. Um, so that's what I found works the best for me. And then last but not least is our Ultra Sheer Moisturizer. So this is a oil-free moisturizer that's not going to clog the pores. It's great for acne-prone skin. Um, us uh, people with acne prone skin, we still need our moisture in our skin because we are constantly putting products that are drying our skin out, such as the retinol and the acne treatment lotion, that we need something to moisturize it or else our skin's gonna produce more oils and then produce more breakouts. So this is a great moisturizer for oily and acne prone skin. I love this one. Um, so that's your basic Skin Medica acne um, skin routine, skin regimen. Um, and then we have a couple other products that we always recommend. Of course, a sunscreen, either our All Calm from Color Science or our Total Face Shield, which is um, both are, are really great products. I sometimes mix them. Um, but the All Calm has some ingredients that help to control oils in the skin. There's an antibacterial ingredient in there. Plus, it could be your makeup. So that's what I wear every single day as my makeup, my makeup, not during... Um, quarantine life. I don't use that on my face just because I'm trying to wear less makeup during this time. Um, but typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I do wear the All Calm because I know that it is a good layer of sunscreen and not and also helping to um, cover and correct redness, antibacterial, and control oils in my skin. Um, so if you have any questions or if you want to schedule a consultation, if you're struggling with acne and you just need a little bit of help with your skincare regimen or even some treatments, give us a call. It's 618 288-9117.